Hi you guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel D'Souza. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my base. And I know. I know! <laughs> there are like 10,000 different videos on this topic or around. These are the few tips and tricks that I picked up from beauty bloggers. That I noticed do the steps. But they don't say it. You know? So I'm going to tell you those tips and tricks in this video but before we could get into this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video like this don't forget to share my video as much as you can do all the good stuff and now without any further ado let's get into the video so I'm come a little closer so that you guys can see what's actually going on here so I'm going to start with prepping my skin so for that I'm going to first choose uh, this Pons gel super light gel moisturizer which is really great as you can see I really love it so I don't use a lot I just use a little bit so I'm just going to take this much now prepping your skin does not only give you a, like a smooth base but it also gives your makeup last longer so also don't forget your under eyes and stuff because these are the places where um, you know you get a little dry because of uh, like you conceal then you powder and all of that stuff so you need to prep your under eyes also pretty well then once I'm done with that I'm going to go with my primer so I'm not a fan of primers but then I still use it because I have like an oily nose and pores so I'm going to go with the Nykaa Prep and Prime Face Primer today. So this one is also a really good primer, like a little goes a long way. I'm going to use this only on my, um, you know, side of my nose and on my nose. And the rest I'll use it on my forehead a little and on my chin, that's it. So as you can see it like you know instantly cancels out all your pores and stuff so it's a really good primer to recommend. Now for the outer perimeter of my face I go with a facial oil. You can totally skip this up but I have like dry skin outside my on the outer perimeters of my face. So I'm going to use a facial oil for that. So I'm going to use this one from Nykaa. This is a Nykaa Skin Potion Facial Oil and Anti Pollution. So I have a very little amount as you can see, not too much and just in the outer perimeter of my face. So once I'm done with that, I go directly with my foundation. So my most favorite foundation lately, like ever since I got this foundation, I never switched or anything like I just love this foundation. So today I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Super Stay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation and I'm in the shade 312 Golden. So I really love the foundation. Never. Like, this is a really really good one if you're looking for a matte foundation, go for this. So I'll tell you how I do my base and I'll give you the easiest way to do it so that you know you don't go more or less you just have the perfect amount so first I'm going to go with uh, two pumps on the back of my hand like one and a half and I use a brush you can use a kabuki brush I'm going to use this brush this is from uh, this is the real techniques pointed foundation brush but you can use it for anything so I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to you know place the foundation everywhere and then I'm going to blend it So I took like one and a half pump but you can see I still have like a half a pump left there. So I'm going to now use my blender and as you can see I left my under eyes like the eye part because 
uh, you use concealers all that so you don't need to you know go with the foundation then concealer then two different concealers then powder that makes it cakey so i don't use it over there so now let's blend it out So now I blended the foundation. You can see it blended pretty easily. The foundation that is left on my hand, I'm going to use it on the places that I think I need a little more coverage. So like for example here, I'm just going to place it there. A little here and around here. So now when you blend the places where you uh, need lot more coverage, use a little less pressure than you would normally. Like here, I'm then actually dabbing it. But here, I'm just going to like lightly tap it because I need to maintain the coverage, and I need the coverage here. So I'm just going to blend it over there, not everywhere. Okay, just here, like here. That's it. So I needed the coverage there. I blended that there. So this is what you need to do. Where you need your coverage now, just blend it over there and not on the other part of the face. For my under eyes, again I use uh, again I use two different concealers. I use a darker concealer and I use a lighter concealer. Now I'll tell you why. But uh, I'll tell you which I'm using now. For uh, today's concealer, I'm using the Maybelline New York's uh, Fit Me Concealer in. 30 honey and i'm using the uh, wet n wild photo focus concealer in medium beige i believe yes in medium beige uh, i'll tell you why i use a why i use two concealers and why the shades differ so i use a darker concealer like in the inner corners of my eyes and the outer corners and i use a lighter concealer in the middle now i use darker concealers darker concealers uh, you know they tend to uh, color correct it works as a color corrector also as well as it conceals and a brighter concealer will you know give you the brightness and cancel the darkness of the concealer and of your skin if that makes sense so i'm going to show you guys how i do it i use the darker concealers at the inner corners first then this and at the outer corners that's it Then I use the lighter concealer in the center. To brighten my eyes. So like this you cancel out the darkness plus you brighten. I think girls when they blend their foundation they do this. Then I do the same thing. I do my face and all that. Right. And I'm not a fan of that. I don't know do that, so I'll tell you what to instead of that if you want to. No, you can do it fancy on your videos and stuff. You can uh, like hold a mirror, obviously, and hold a mirror on top, and look on top, so that when you look on top, all your creases. Obviously, you do that to you know not uh, get creases and stuff. So you can look on top, so that will do the job of doing this for your eyes, and then blend it. Now again, you only want to color correct this part. You want to brighten only this part, so only blend it over there, like this. Dab only in the portion that you want to color correct or conceal. Now, as you can see, I'm dabbing. And I'm going further. Then again, I'm going back. Again, I'm going further. And that way, you even 
you know, mix the concealer is right over there. And it does it okay. It's as simple as that. Now you can see it and that instantly brighten up your whole eye. You can see the difference, it's right in front of you. It's just no blending. And then the leftover you can write it like right here. And the sides of your nose because you need that triangular you know effect that gives you a more matched kind of face. And you can even drag the concealer right like at your temples. Like at your forehead or your airline. Like at your forehead or your airline. Yeah. So I'm gonna do the side. So as you can see how it has brightened up my this part, that is how I like. If you don't want to take it here, you can not. You can just, uh, you know, stop blending over here. So yeah, and I did not put um, concealer on my eyelids because I'm going to do my eyebrows and then conceal them. So now that our concealing is done, I'm going to go with uh, powder. So I use the Maybelline's Fit Me powder in uh, medium 25. So here what I do is, I don't like a lot of powders on my face. So what I like to do is, I take the powder from the sponge and I dab it like this on my hand. So like this you get rid of the excess and you only use the product you need. And again, I push it into my concealer that way it gets locked and nothing is going to move <laughs> this, it gets locked and nothing is going to move now if you feel like it's more powder you can take a fluffy brush and right after you're done blending you could go over it once and then you can see how smooth that looks and I'm going to do the same to the other eye. Get rid of all the creasing. Smooth enough? So this is what I do. Just for concealing. And yeah, these are the few tips that I will give you one is blending where you need the coverage use the concealer foundation exactly where you need it blending is obviously the key but how and where to blend I've told you that so I hope this video was helpful so I'll just do my brows and I'll be back and then we'll do a little something fashion a few moments later so my eyebrows are done and uh, for eyeshadow I'm going to go with the Swiss Beauty Ultimate eyeshadow palette. It's like this. Uh, it's pretty cheap to be honest but it's for like 299 300 bucks. But it's one of those Huda Beauty uh, you know dupes. Definitely of this one. So I'm going to do a you know very normal one or two eyeshadow looks. So I'm going to go with this shade first. This one you know and I'm going to mix this to this and this and I'm going to go all over my
that I'm only going to take this shade on its own and focus it on the outer corners with the same brush. Then on a small brush like this, this is again from uh, Real Techniques, this is a detailing brush. I'm going to take my highlighter that is broken. And this is the Master Chrome uh, highlighter by the way and in the shade Modern Gold. So I'm going to only use this a little on my lids and in my inner corners. But I'm going to use it like here. Not exactly my inner corners but a little on top. This gives the eyes a little, you know, wide awake. If you don't want, uh, like this, then you can obviously skip this step. I like doing it. So now I'm going to do my lashes, and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. Before that, this color is from Miniso. So once the mascara is done, um, I'm going to take my eyeshadow palette again and as you can see, you know the mascara gives you a little eyeliner look kind of effect so I'm going to use the same eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take uh, this black shade and I'm going to elongate but I'm not going to create a wing, I will create a wing but it's not going to be like a cat cat eye wing, you know what I mean? Just a little so that it gives my eyes that long effect. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So yeah, I like it like this. I'm not going to clean it and stuff. For my lower lash line, I don't really like waterproof mascara. So I'm going to go with this one. This is the Maybelline, the Colossal Mascara. This is not a waterproof one. Although you get the waterproof one now. So I like how that, um, you know, it is like a wing but it's just... Really flattering, so I like that. My blush, I'm going to go with the Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, Blush in Mellow Wine. I really enjoy this one. It's like a peachy sort of blush. I like it. It's my favorite one, to be honest. So for my contour, I'm like from this, you know, bringing a little more color back into my face. I'm gonna go with the Sugar Cosmetics. Also, I use this one. Um, it's a very cool tone bronzer, so I like it to, you know, bronze my nose and my face and stuff. So I'm gonna first bronze my face. So I like to do my uh, blush before I do my bronzer so that I know where exactly I want to place it so right here blending it into my blush I place my bronzer so I bronze like most of my forehead 
So I have bronze most of my forehead. Then I'll use a, you know, fluffy, flat brush like this, and I'll do my nails. Done. You know that TikTok? The one. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I'm just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. <laughs> it's my first video. I have to put on my shirt now. Like. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the high same highlighter. Highlight the highest points of my face. I'm going to go in with my lipstick. Now I'm using the mini one from Sugar. This is a smudge me not liquid lipstick in. So to break down my lips, so to melt the powder that all the powder that I applied on my face and stuff, I'm going to fix my face with this face is candle makeup fix. You can see how my base looks in yeah. look and i hope you guys like this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time i post a new video comment share do all the good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next video until then if you want to see me every day you can come and see me on instagram because i post every day over there if not then again i'll see you guys in my next video